Hello, everybody. The topic for today is registering a business. There are different types of business structures in the UK. And there are different types that you can choose from when setting up a business. I'll be talking to you, I'll be taking you through them in this video. I'll be talking about the various structures of registering and setting up a business, their advantages, their disadvantages, and how they are set up. The structure you pick or select will depend on your specific needs. The types of business structures we have a sole trader, limited company, partnership, and guarantee company. So now let's talk about the first one, the first type of business structure. The first type of business structure is the sole trader. This is a business type where one person runs and owns the entire business. It is the simplest business structure you could adopt and it is very suitable for any one person who wants to start a business by themselves. Examples are independent accountants, web developers, gardeners, etc. Being a sole trader means that the individual is entitled to all the profits. However, you are also entitled to and liable for any debt incurred. Limited company. Under the limited company, the business is a separate entity from its owners. The owners are only liable for any business debts to the extent of the amount that they have put in. There are two types of limited companies. We have the private limited company and we have the public limited company. The private limited company, the owners own shares privately. If it is a sole trader, he has 100% shares. If there are two people, you will have 50-50 or 25-75. For most small businesses in the UK, private limited company is used. For the public limited company, shares are available to the, to the public buy. Different people can buy and have shares in that public limited company. And for a company to become a, limit, a public limited company in the UK, that company must have at least a value of £50,000. The next type of business structure is called the LLP, which is the Limited Liability Partnership. An LLP is a partnership structure used by many businesses, including law firms, dentists, vets, or accountancy firms. An LLP is made up of at least one limited partner and one general partner. The limited partners on formation provide property properties or money to the business. They are liable for all debts up to the amount they are put in. The limited partners have no operation control and can't actively manage the business. The limited partners cannot remove the initial investments they are put in. The general partner on the other side can apply for an authorized contracted scheme called the ACS, where assets and money are put together and managed on behalf of the partners. The partners end up co-owning the assets but only must pay tax on their share of any profits. The next type of business structure that can be registered is called the guarantee company. This is used by not-for-profit businesses, such as social enterprise that seek a legal structure to operate. This structure is somewhere between a charitable status and a limited company. 
in a guarantee company, LBG. No share capital is issued. Instead, the members act as guarantors for the company. It is commonly used by trade associations, schools, and other businesses. So now, which structure is best? There's no simple answer to which structure is best for your business. This would depend on your business operation and needs. So for example, if you plan to grow your business beyond yourself and then sell, then a private limited company will be the most suitable. If you plan to operate in one person, one man business for the near future, then you're talking about a sole tradership. And if you plan to start a business that has a significant amount of senior management, capital and deals in services, then a limited liability partnership will be the best, like law firms. So setting up a structure for your business is not something you do without taking thoughts and researching into. So you have to decide which is best for you. Before you, by the time you're starting your business, you already know in your mind the kind and the type of route that you will be going. In summary, when you want to register your company in United Kingdom, you have to think about the structure. Is it a sole tradership, limited company? Is it partnership or guarantee company? Sole tradership, you have to do things by yourself, put in the resources. The profit, you, it, it belongs to you. The liability belongs to you as well. Limited company, private limited company, or the public limited company. The limited company, the shares, is, um, is limited by shares. So your liability, the debt, is just limited to whatever you are put in. A partnership, like law firms, vets, there are going to be many, and the guarantee company, social enterprise. So you have to think about that kind of structure, the kind of structure you want to register before registering. Next week, we're going to go into the part two, the proper registering, how to do it, how to register the company.